What's up, everybody? It's me, MMKG53. Today, I'm giving y'all another life events video. This is the second one. And, um, this one's that special one I was telling y'all about. I feel like everything's just aligned up the right way to do it. So, um, this is actually a testimony that I have about the my very first spiritual war that I've went through. If that's what it's called, I don't know exactly. I think that's what it's called, but um this happened a couple months ago and um I'm trying to get everything, I'm trying to get all the remember all the events and stuff. Me and my cousin, we were sitting in his back room. This room that I'm recording in is actually his back room. So, we were in here uh, on the couch. Not this couch, but it's a couch right over there. We were uh, sitting on that couch right over there. And um, we were just talking. It was one of those nights. I mean, night. me and him just stay up at nights and just talk about stuff. Because we've come up with some crazy ideas and stuff like just from talking. So, it was one of those nights. <clears throat> so, we were, it was like what, 11, 12 maybe at night, or to be technical in the morning, um, then my sister comes in, and she starts talking, and I knew something wasn't, uh, something was up, like she wasn't feeling her best or whatever, and so, I start trying to, I guess you can call it preaching, but I start pulling up scriptures and stuff like, well, I guess it is preaching, but what, I can't get my words out. What I was trying to do was lighten her day. I was trying to, I guess, remind her that God's with her. Like, remind her that maybe it's a trial she's going through, trying to figure it out. But she starts telling me this stuff. And I was like, okay. And we start talking about it for a while. The mood lightens up. Then everything, we all just stop talking. And then, out of nowhere, I get this feeling. Like, we all felt it. And I was like, something's about to happen. I don't know what it is, but something's about to happen. I kept saying it over and over and over. I kept saying something's about to happen, something's about to happen. Sure enough, it happened. Probably one of the most biggest events in my life ever. Pretty much what happens is I feel this hand lay on my back. I still don't understand exactly what it, who or what it was. I don't know if it was God blessing me for what was getting ready to come up or what a warning or the enemy trying to distract me I don't know that I I don't know what it was my cousin comes walking over and out of nowhere we just start hugging like it it wasn't planned or anything I start crying he starts crying my sister starts crying all three of us are hugging each other we're just all holding each other tight in tears and my heart was pounding. My heart's pounding now. I mean, I still get like shivers down my back. I'm like, did that really happen? Was that a dream? And then it happens. I feel this wave of, I don't even know what it was, but I feel it feel the room. And all this stuff is like unfolding. The whole, everything just unfolding. My cousin, he looks up, he's like, then I look up, and I, my God opens my eyes, and I see a war, like, not with guns, though, like, back in the day, like, with swords and armor, like, sam not exactly samurai, but, like, I don't know, I can't explain. Like shields and swords, I see it. Not physically, spiritually, I see it. God's opened my eyes spiritually, and I seen it physically. I can't explain how. I'm, who can explain how God does things? But He did it, and I. Whew. 
it was like my and I knew right then I knew I was like when is spiritual war so I started getting positive things moving on I seen the scripture over here on the wall it says as for me and my house we will serve the Lord and so I started getting positive stuff going around man I'm starting to feel it right now holy crap Okay. And um so it's we start saying positive stuff going around. We start saying positive things. It's still hitting me now as I speak about it. I'm not I'm <sighs> my hands are sweating. I'm nervous now to Okay. All right. Um. Well, that's it. Right. So we start saying positive things, and it helps. We start talking about hot positive stuff, saying scriptures. We get it gets to the point where we gear ourselves, and it's like I don't remember what I told them, but I pretty much said like I don't even remember. My sister gets up, grabs a Bible, opens it, and it goes to this, it, she reads this scripture. And she reads the scripture over and over and over and over. I don't remember the scripture. I have to get, ask her what the scripture was, and I'll tell y'all about it when I get it. But, um, I start preaching. My cousin, he's looking around, and he's listening. My sister's going around the room, walking around the room, prayer walking the room. I'm preaching around the room. All of this stuff is just happening all at once. And what's so weird is that we were on that side of the room. And I look, there's two crosses on the walls of that side of the room. And this wall is barren. Well, it's not nothing on this wall. And on that side of the wall is where we stayed at. Or where it all began. And on this side of the wall is where we felt all the... Bad stuff, I guess, if you want to call it that. I don't know. But, um, I'm talking about it went on for hours and hours. We sat on the couch. We thought it was done. We thought we had it. And we were all looking at each other like, okay, that just happened. Then it happens again, another wave, I guess. And so I stand up. And I do what God wanted me to do, I guess. I stand up and I put on one of my favorite Christian songs. And I just let whatever happens, happens. The mood changed again. And they started looking at me. And then I felt, I think I seen like hope in their eyes. Like, this isn't it. This is not over. The scripture of the day, Philippians 4.13 it is not the scripture from the thing I had, the scripture that I looked at on the app was like four verses long, I think, and I don't have a lot of time. <sighs> Man, um, I wanted to do it, but it's like, I don't, like, lately, uh, last few of my videos, I've been trying to maximize as much time as I have. I have a little more time on my hands, so... That's why I decided to do this. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. It's my favorite scripture. And um, and this scripture really stands out when I'm comparing it to that spiritual war. I'm like, no, I'm talking like a 16-year-old. A Ten year old and a eleven year old, twelve year old. Sorry, I'm talking about the three of us literally doing something nobody can really imagine right off the bat. I think. I mean, unless if you're, I don't know. No one. Can, I mean, I can't even explain 
ever all of it. I can't explain exactly what all it looked like, but it was. It was four in the morning when everything was finally over. And that's when we decided it was time to go to bed by then. But I'm talking about four hours it went on. Battling for four hours. And it didn't even feel like for four hours. I'm talking to... Like I said, one of the most amazing events in my life that have ever happened. Compare that and Philippians 4.13. Those who, I think, I feel like they go hand in hand. Everybody can tell you these things. But only what God says will stand. That is that, I'm actually, that was another scripture I went over. That's not the scripture, but that's what my aunt was saying about another scripture. And it's all just kind of coming together in a way. But like, people can tell you what you can and can't do. But only God can show you what you can and can't do. God's shown me all of these things that I can do. And I'm like, how? It's I'm speechless. I'm like trying to find words as I say. I'm trying to find words as I go. And it's like. God has shown me some ama- amazing things in my life. And I, I'm i glad that he did. I'm glad that he revealed to me at the age of eight that I have a rapping talent. I'm glad that I bumped into Dalton when I did. Because that's when he showed me a gospel rap. And that's when I realized that's when I'm in my strongest is when I'm doing gospel rap. I love doing it. I actually have another rap band I plan on doing live really soon. So keep an eye out for that. But, um, it's like we all overlook all the stuff God's done in our lives sometimes. You know, like, when I sit down and actually think and look over all the things God's blessed me with, like, this past summer... I went out of town, out of town, out of town twice. I'm talking about like I've experienced two new states this summer: Indiana and Arizona, and both places were amazing. But I'm not trying to get off to where it's like, look at me, I'm all of this. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying like we all get stuck. Every once in a while. In these trials. But if we think about the stuff God's given us. And then start using it. Like. Think about what the things God's blessed us with. God. I bet you God's blessed. I know God's blessed every last one of us with at least one ability. If we can think about it. If we think about it. And actually. Figure out that ability, see, figure out how it works, and we can use it to maybe even help us get out of these trials. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Don't let what people say stop you from doing what God wants you to do. I'm all out of time, y'all, but, um. Man, that, I I don't even know. I I don't even know what to say. If you like this video, if you feel like it hit you right here in the heart, hit that like button. If you want to hear more of this stuff, hit the subscribe button. Write down comments in the comment section. Do all of the above. But this is MMKG53 signing out. Peace.